So maybe today we can show you uh, how to, to use Kutol, what is Kutol. I'm not sure it's really interesting to, to show you how to install Kutol, but anyway, I, I can. We can but look I at think, the, the I think we file. should skip that part because yes. I think the main point would be more talk about the Debian Futol mm -hmm. server rather than Futol. So it's more about the uh, usability uh, concept of Futol. Uh, what, what can be what done? What we have currently. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, internet. Debian internationalization server, Putol server. There are, there are already some PO files which were installed by, uh, by Christian. Uh, mostly for, for those uh, projects. So, PO.conf, Debian installer. And, uh, this was an attempt, native package uh, just at least changes. There is also a Putol uh, project. It's used for, for the translation of the web interface. So you can make some changes, but please don't. It's better to, to do that in the upstream Putol server. Uh, and the DDPTP project will be. It's uh, not here. Yes, and it will probably be used at the end of the platform. Well, at least filled with the, the real Q5. Um, yeah, so, so the entry is both by language or by <coughs> project. So the concept of Puto is everything is arranged by project by a language. So you have a combination of both. So you have to live with that in the beginning. So Currently, no user is uh, logged in. Maybe we can have a look at what regular user, which are which do not have uh, an account, can do with uh, the internationalization yeah. server. So can I know the maybe you can the, uh, the the fastest would be the Debian installer. Okay. I hope so. Did, so did you update the? No, no, I was waiting for the presentation. Mm. You didn't want to break it. Yes. <laughs> so we are currently running a 09 whatever version of Puto. Yeah, one, one zero is why did you go? So and uh, it was a pretty much hacked version by Nicola for many performance issues. So is it is this normal? Is it so slow? Uh, is this one task that you it make Maybe quite long to open in a project. The, the first time a uh, project is open uh, after the Putol server is restarted, the, the server is reading all most of the files to 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 gather the, the statistics. Okay. Uh, well, it's not really reading all the files. It's reading some a cache for for the statistics, but it makes still a lot of files to to read. So here we can maybe we can have a look at uh, something more interesting than the, the French language. If you can you find, should look Amaric. Amaric at the beginning. Yes, because there are some some there are, there are some untranslated some yes. some yeah <laughs> a lot of. <coughs> uh, just be careful. It's not a number of uh, strings. It's a number of words. So don't be afraid if you have to, to, to translate uh, 1,000 words. It's much faster than 1,000 1, get text messages. Mm -hmm. uh, OK, so we yeah, we'll go when one. Christian installed the, the PO file, he, he tried to, to have kind of the, the same the same architecture than on the uh, on the current uh, uh, Debian yeah, with, with all le levels and etc. Yeah. But, but well, for those who translate the DI, there are not many people translating DI in this room, so we want mm -hmm. go this way. The most important, what's called level one, is the core of uh, DI. 
So there is only one file. If we have uh, in this language, there is no level two, level three files, so it's not listed. But for other languages, we, we would have seen level two because I imported level one and two only. And these files, the important part is they are linked with a DI SVN. So the m.poc here is a copy, is an uh, SVN checkout of DI. But not, not only checkout, but you can check in in the work you do. So that's the main new feature I used uh, with this organization. Okay, so the first step will be to, to, to click here. We'll uh, see more advanced function afterwards. So we see with, there are still uh, several performance issues okay. in this place to uh, put up some as you can see. <laughs> And the main problem is the put on the block file. They didn't test widely with a lot of things. So we may use them a lot of performance. Uh, the largest force they have is open office. Right? Yeah, open office. Mm -hmm. Open office is very large, but not that many files, I think. Big files, but not a lot of files. And we have small files and a lot of files. But I think DI is, is a little bit different from uh, from Debcom files. Debcom files, we have a lot of pure files, and for level one, we have one big pure file. Uh, I don't it's really understand slow. why it's <laughs> taking. So much it's time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's very slow. Mm -hmm. Much faster reactions <laughs> in my laptop. Yes. Um, so maybe. Wiring. 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 Yes. Wiring. Yes. Yeah. Wiring. There, there are some wires over there. So it may be a solution. Can you wire it? Yes. I think there is one very close to me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a slow one. Mm -hmm. The yellow one is longer. I think it is very round. This one should be long enough. This one should be long enough. Just the, the content of the, the PO files. It's like an uh, offline translation tool. You, you can see the, the string translation. If I think this uh, this string is uh, is cut because it's too long, but if you put the, the mouse over, yes, it's the, the size is increased. If you double click on uh, on one screen on one string. Okay, so you, you're not plugged in, so you can't do it. No, no, you have no action uh, possible. You can only view because you're not plugged in. So we might need to log in. Can you log in with it? Uh, on the upper right. Up right, yeah. But I, I, I will, I will okay. log you. So when user wants to, to log in, they first off to, to register, then it will send the user a mail with some with the registration information and afterwards they, they will be able to, to activate uh, their account. Does it, does it work with HTTPS? Um, I think that would be for that here. No, I don't think so. Definitely not on the bottom of the server. server, but I, I think the, the portal server do not permit to do that. Uh, it, Although it's possible to 
to use a uh, Apache to to proxy the, the server, so it may be a I don't know if you have seen the difference while uh, Nicolas was explaining. I logged in as W2, ordinary user, and this user is registered for French language only, so he just only sees French and is registered for pure Devcom PI, etc. etc. So he's first registered, he registered himself for French. He said, okay, I register for French language, and then he can register for various projects. And for each of these projects, he can be given different rights. Okay? So, I go here. I immediately jump to the I and then another one, so we we'll see French again, sorry. But. And here, if I do so click, double click, I get addition uh, functions. So, Bubble One is just a, a standard user, so he cannot uh, uh, change the translation, but he can make some suggestions. Uh, oh yes, you, you can, can also translate. translate yes. This one can okay. translate. So basically, you you can define a, an administrator for for the French team, and this administrator will be able to to give some some right to to the various users, and it can say that Bubble Two can only suggest, and Bubble One can submit translation, and there are other other rights which can be, be defined like uh, synchronization with a, a subversion repository or other, other feature. Yeah, then that, that's very complex actually. Uh, see in the administration of Pluto, you can go very, there is a big granularity. Uh, and it, little bit too big because it's not very easy to manage when there are many projects, many languages. Mm -hmm. It requires to give admin access one by one to each uh, project. Mm -hmm. But the good point is that you, you can delegate some administration uh, processes. Yeah. So that, that should be, in our Pluto server, there should be one or a few admin team to just manage the top level rights language by language and then project by project. Like so in the next version of Putol you, you will have also a, a button to, to, to say that this translation is fuzzy. Sometimes it's useful just to, to say no it's, it has to be to be reworked. You can also add some some comments. It was something missing I mean no, it's uh, it exists. Mm -hmm. and, uh, otherwise, uh, I don't know if we we can uh, if, if it's interesting to to see all the functionality. It's not just a, a translation tool. I think it, any user can can use it uh, out of the box. There are no. Instruction to, to give to the users. It's just for. It may be a little bit slow. This is currently slow. I, I think the man, not not too much of people, not too many people will want to really translate online. Mm -hmm. uh, at least for the team we currently have in Debian, uh, it will be more convenient for some new teams <coughs> that are popping up and uh, where translators don't know how to check out, don't know how to launch KBabel or PO Edit or whatever. And these people translate most of them online, some of them go to an internet cafe somewhere and just translate online and that's just internet. So there's a demand for that. But already for us, Putol the first interest would be to give access to the material. So our main challenge is to import the material first to the server bef before we can really use it. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, I think the 
probably use it as a gateway to purifies compared to what we have currently on the eye and the things at the end. Uh, and well, the challenge is to probably import the DDTP. Would be interesting to uh, um, Don't have no um, no mail interface, right? Only the web interface at this point. There is only a web interface. All, okay. the, all the remaining tasks, you do them on logging the server. And uh, the first checkout I made for VI, uh, I kind of like the login as to do it anyway, because you can see at least the remaining functions. If I can remember my password. So on, on the Puttle server, the, the, the PO file I just installed with uh, you, you can just put the, the PO file and it will work. Uh, the the Puttle server don't have to, to be to be restarted. You just put the, the new PO file and they will be uh, detected. Yeah. When when you you navigate in, on the on the interface. You remember, uh, Felipe, can we SSH into Truro without key? Still. Yeah. We can still do it? Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll try. Uh, the German keyboard. Truro, uh, ITN. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It yes. starts with E and finishes with Where's the Y? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I said this. Okay, my password again. On the web interface, there are some other functionalities, like we, we, we only saw the, the use case where the user open the PO file and then translate the first the first uh, string the second string etc. Uh, but of course when the when the PO file is translated like 99 percent you don't want to 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 see all the, the all the strings and there is a, some filtering uh, functionality like you he, he, he can export you can skip the the translated strings and just translate the, the fuzzy and the untranslated one. Uh, there are some other functionality. We, we saw that a user can make some suggestion. Afterwards, uh, the main translator can review the, the suggestion and validate yeah. them or just uh, reject Point them. It, yeah, you can suggest, you can. Validate and then you can commit. Uh, this is what I probably have in the last. Yeah, Another my, my user Google currently has everything. Every, everything, all rights on all languages. And if I go to the eye and hopefully it will be faster, uh, if I go to level one, then a further PO and if I arch, no, it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, Show editing functions. This sucks in Putter. You have to always activate this. Show editing function. This fr.po now I can also. So maybe just wait here. Uh, we, we can allocate some some string yeah. to to a to a user. So we have a big po file with uh, one thousand strings. We can say that the the first hundred uh, strings. It, it is allocated to one user, the second hundred of strings is allocated to another user, and when the user logs in, he can click on translate my strings. 
this is something new for big five. Big five needs to be convenient for the for the future. The other part is not working yet, right? The user cannot allocate the strings yet. No, it's working, but here the, the file is fully translated, so right. you cannot not activate it. So the user now can allocate some strings for him. Uh, Google can because it can do anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that the user can. The user can allocate five, uh, five uh, strings for himself. Uh, is there an uh, in, in interface with um, command on the command line? Yes, so exactly. Uh, no command line, no. no. Uh, but the this is this is but this everything will be, uh, this will be the, on, the, on their roadmap. The everything is registered in the text file, so it's possible to. And then uh, can I change the text file? Without reload or restart the portal server? I don't know. Um, last, I time, don't know. last time we messed with that, uh, there are some problems that Frieder like to was not aware of when we changed the PO and yes. we already have the stats generated. It could, so it could confuse Pool. Yeah, if we really do that in a lot of files, uh, it, it But last time the problem was also so that. Uh, it was running in parallel, like it was updating the, the statistics of Putel, and at the same time we, we changed some files, so it, it was really running in, at the same time. Yeah. It should work if you update the PO file in the middle of uh, no other processes. Uh, but if a user is logged in, etc. No, maybe it's not safe to, to do that. Uh, yes. uh, How do you want to see a relic? What was the, uh, the language? Uh, uh, M. Uh, M. But M. this file is interesting. There are some fuzzy and untranslated uh, strings. You can go there. Uh, AM also. Yeah, you can go there and probably I. As we are still logged in as uh, myself. Just try show, show editing, editing functions. functions. Ah, okay. Yeah. You always have to reactivate this each time you go into That's not good. So you can see the entrancity. Yeah, I'm going to state it, but I can't allocate because I do not have all rights in all languages. That's not true. And here we, we can see that it skip with uh, two or three strings because they, they are translated yeah. and well, they can add yeah. some special quirks right? yeah. yes yeah and it's if i remember correctly this is supposed to be uh, this is probably not active correctly for amaric but uh, these characters are supposed to be related to the language so Depending on the language, you, you will not see the same characters. It's a bit what you have in Wikipedia, where uh, yeah. for I complex so, good methods, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, but still need that. So here for okay, and this translator doesn't have rights to translate. It can only it can suggest. Only suggest uh, so okay. this will not be kept in the profile in the file system, but mm -hmm. on the aside. The problem if I uh, click on it. No. Yeah, you can't if you, you won't break anything because it cannot be validated. Okay, then. I've and then if you if you list am, you have am.po.pen. Mm -hmm. So the am.po has not been modified because it is currently pending. Okay. Okay, no, we see your changes. Mm -hmm. Suggested by, have you seen the comments? If you come back at the top, you have uh, oh, yes. a comment. Uh, Where can I um, get one? Um, um, select one trans uh, some string to a user that only he can translate it. Uh, I'm not sure it's possible to, to say only. Him can translate uh, this string, okay. but you can you can give a you, you can give a goal to to a user. His goal is to translate this file or fifty percent of this file, 
and if somebody else translated the, the strings, then his goal is uh, is finished. This so it's nice to my strings. Yes, yeah. I have no strings because no strings have been allocated to me. Yes, our um, there can I allocate some strings to okay. you. Yeah. So you need. I think you need to to define a goal, yeah. but maybe it's better to to switch yeah, to the uh, to the I French. Think, uh, uh, frankly speaking, we will where well, we get lost if we enter to okay. too much of okay. details. Uh, I think that everybody can see by himself what are the possibilities and probably I think people around should register on Pluto and uh, we can set up a playground for just as, to, as, every as right uh, for everybody and okay so uh, I think you can go for it then. but entering the details is not really the point of this Actually. And just ask Christian to, to to give you a login and the right permission. Yeah, see. When people people so uh, you can come back here. Yeah. People create login for themselves. So everybody can create a login. Actually if you go on the on the server that's why you create a login, then you get a mail, you validate the login, these are the checkbox you see here. Yes, sir. These people validate it. And the admin, of course, can remove users. Okay. Uh, I just found a bug because I couldn't remove users. <laughs> okay. So we can see uh, this. And if I go to a project, uh, it's not too long. Okay. If I go, no. If I go to admin. So I've been defined as admin, so I can admin. Can admin a project. I mean, which project I will admit, for instance, DI, and then for DI in German, I can say, okay, German, I can update the file from templates, so that means this project will be, uh, the profile will be synchronized with the POT file, don't do it, because it will take long time, and here, I have a sign that we are default rights. So nobody unlocked user can only view translations. Default these are the don't change yeah. Uh diff yeah, you can say that even unlocked user can suggest, but this is not really what we want to do. This is what is in Rosetta. I <coughs> think this is not really Good idea up to now. Uh, logged user, any logged user can view, suggest, review, and compile PO files to grab them and download. This is more or less what we want. And I can add user in you know, the left. I pick up all users that will, when I pick up Ronda, uh, will register for this language. So only these ones said, okay, German is my language. So, and yeah, you, that's also a usability issue. You have to control click to add rights. And for instance, if I want Wanda to be the overall admin of DI in German, super boss, I just give all rights and update rights yes. and then and the, the assign, assign rights I sign is necessary to, to, the to assign strings to, to user and administrate administrate this project so if I give administrate uh, on that we'll be able to do this work but it's a way to delegate rights so they implemented already a kind of good infrastructure to administrate and delegate etc. This is much better achieved than other parts. You can administrate the languages by themselves and say you see for instance for Amaric these special cards they are here are the one we which we, uh, we could see uh, in the yeah. you can set them up to the plural and the plural form can be defined. And all these settings are in text files actually. In Etsy Pluto.
these are the files that are modified if you have seen uh, logs from Truro today. Yes. I modified uh, some things in Etsy, Putol, Putol.pref. So th this is mostly because of these things. And if we go back to the interesting thing and what we should do now, uh, here is the place where mm. everything is uh, stored. Your space is a little bit hard. So here are all the directory invalid portal. We have the DevConf project, DI project where we were with all this. DI.org is no longer a project, but I kept it there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, so when we will work on DDTP, we will just have a DDTP yeah. uh, directory here, and then maybe we can. I don't know what will be the the layout. Maybe yeah. inside the DDTP directory, we will have all the languages yes. or yes. all the, the various uh, package name or. As a main point, it's, it's interesting to see uh, how is the data currently, because well, that will determine how we can import. Grizu has many magic scripts to <coughs> generate information yes, for the But basically, last time we decided to go with pool structure, right? A, B, C, yeah. Yeah. C, S, C, A. Okay, so if we make a table of this and just copy to Churro. That's what we did last time, we can do that again. It crashed Puto. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it crashed Puto yeah. because it was too, too slow or it was... Uh, Puto can handle everything. It's like it hits all the memory and then it starts. Okay. So it should be much better. There, there are, when Puto is starting, uh, it will just create the, all the PO file and make a, a statistic file for every PO file. Okay. It's really, really slow because it's not only counting the, the number of strings and the number of untranslated strings. There are a lot of checks which are implemented in Puto, like a, a spell checker or it, it will validate that there are the, the same number of so parentheses in the original and translated strings, so it takes a long, long time. One way to, to solve that is just to, to make a, a small C program which will read the PO file and write the statistics yes. Yes. without yes. the extra yes. checks. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really fast. And Puto will not notice that uh, the statistic files are faked. Uh, the, the statistic file will be updated when one user makes a change in, in a, a pure file, but it will be the load will, will be smoothed much more than doing that for the first time Puto is run. Uh, then on startup, Putol try to, to read yes, every yes. statistic file. It's also a problem when you have uh, 50,000 files to, to read. It takes some time, but it's much faster than uh, reading the PO file and making some computation. So, Maybe we can we can make something uh, much faster that way. And the second time you you run Putol, it's much much faster. And in the web interface, when some data are in the, the Putol memory, afterwards it's much much faster too. So it may be recommended that when we restart Putol, we have a script which. Uh, kind of navigate in the various project just to, to load the, the statistic file and make sure a user won't, won't have to, to wait for five minutes to, to open one project. Yeah. The point is start at 11, so we have time. 
But just to, to give you an yeah. idea, uh, put all on my box, it took more than 10 hours to to, to hold the DI uh, directory. And now it's only five minutes. So there were some improvements in the extra major <coughs> meeting. Did you know all the file stuff to put all um, to make own translation um, with the files? I'd like to write some main interface as well, or something like this um, for Putul. But then I must know the files, um, how to change it, how to select some description to some user. That it's not nice if one um, downloads, if, um, download one description per email, and then the same description is um, still online. And some other make a translation. Okay, so you, you would like to, to lock one yes, file and so then say. A lot of people translate the DDP by the mail interface. Yes. And the DDPSS also uses it, so it is an important part of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing. Doing mail. One, yeah. What, do you put do, do we imagine the transition of training systems or both? Yes, maybe one one option could be to only activate the navigation on the DP uh, in the portal interface. That makes suggestions. And maybe use it for for the usage, or maybe activate portal fully for some languages. Because you you can remove. You can remove uh, right. If I remove? Yes, maybe it's possible. You uh, can try it. I go to DE. DE. Yes. Yes. French. Just here? Yeah, no, just uh, just on the I. There should Level be. Level one. French. What no. Level one. No. On what the what is on the I? Can you can you read the? Yeah. And I remove oh, but French. To ten, it's okay. It could be uh, an option to uh, to disable the front run. Yes. Uh, that works right. There's a super user. So it's DI. Mm -hmm. Level one. moment the server has a problem. <laughs> because now the statistics don't match. Or oh, maybe this is not a big problem. Usually it, uh, it checks if the statistics file is uh, older than the, the PO file. In that case I don't really know what he will do. Probably <laughs> he will try to to reboot the, the statistics yeah. file. Okay, you have seen what he yeah. does. <laughs> so maybe it's not <laughs> So apparently this the rude method is not a good method. <laughs> there you go. Can can you only so we only see the level two? No. But I he <laughs> doesn't remember that you have level one because he doesn't check every time. Okay. Yeah, but, but maybe there's if you, something if you like a lock or something because I can um, add a um, French PO point lock or something check, like this. Can you check the content of uh, the DI repository directory? Like this? F F file. Mm -hmm. no? no, no, the the previous the the, the parents there. The, the parents. Parent. Sorry. Uh, can you so have a look on di-fr? No, uh, is there something like di-fr? Total di. Total di. Fr. But press. Is Somebody seems to be editing this file. 
Yeah, that's the main difficulty with uh, can we show the content of uh, the the IFR? Yeah. We told this sets one? default rights to every project when a new project is added, and this is so all coded. In maybe in that could be ah. one way. You, you can change the rights. Yeah. Like you, you can say this this file is currently uh, under review by the main interface, so you you can probably comment. It's a Python script. Yes, you can, can just uh, comment the the non nobody. Oh yeah, it's, it's a list. It's a list of files. Okay, this is for the for the wood AI. Yes, level one and and level yeah, two. Yeah, this uh, this is the place to define rights. And actually, okay, as as uh, I, I was finishing, I was dead. Uh, Put all put so default no. files, just, and just you often have right. to edit manually mm -hmm. to go faster than the web interface. So you can also imagine having offline tools or other tools. Maybe than if you go back, you will see the level one again. Probably this is level one again, but you need to translate. Yes. And or refresh. Yeah, so so it will be easy for Pluto to see. Files again. It's missing the stats. Uh, this will move the, only the PO file, back, yeah, it's not the other files. It may be called by one of my patch. No, it it's one oh, of the patch, yeah. the one that doesn't always recurse yeah. and we read. You're yeah, reaching the middle. Just yeah, we're reaching the middle. So we should not. The, the main point is what do we want to do okay. with Puto, not what does Puto. <laughs> Uh, what does put all? Everybody can go and see it. But what do we want? To do? What else? Just what else we have to, to okay. see today? Okay. It has to be restarted, but you okay. may, we, we should define that some to kind today. of senior. Well, way. what we have to say ah, okay. is up to us, <laughs> actually. Oh. You know. So. Uh, but what, what my main idea is: okay, we but should but push importing the DDTP. Okay, fine. That's the main point to do. So we have to talk about this uh, maybe in the DDTP session or whatever. But uh, what should be good in the meantime, until the DDTP session, is to try importing some stuff. For instance, now all right, just you just create this. Just like last time we did per language, it was the best way to test it instead of doing everything. So we can do that again. Yes, but I think first we should uh, install the new portal. Sure. I will do that after this. Yeah, there, okay. are, yeah there will be improvements, but don't expect much improvements, I think. How is the because most of the improvements the are already in what we use here. How is portal how is portal upstream moving? They are fast moving the code or they are like yearly moving the code? They are still adding some functionalities. Uh, I think the, the performance issue was well not uh, the main issue for, for them, but uh, they appreciated the, the patches that I sent, and some of them are included at right now. Uh, but you make a patch on the improvements was big. I yes, it's it. included, yeah. Okay. And, and this uh, patch is already in the new package? Yes. Okay, so I think we should first install the new package and then we can pair language on language base, add yep. all the stuff, only to test the performance um, for the restart. Um, second question, you, you can Patch uh, Poodle, I think. I can't, I cannot the language and all the stuff. Um, is it a big problem um, to check for a log file? Then um, I can write maybe this week in a mail um, interface, can send the PO file to a translator and make a, pro a log file in the directory. And yeah, you can file. check it. Yeah, PO file. Um, in the PO uh, French PO log file, yeah. and if it's um, 
in the directory, then you have only a view or a suggest uh, mm -hmm. no, nothing more. I think it's possible. And it's if really the translator send it back, then I can exchange the um, PO file and remove the doc file. Mm -hmm. This is one way, the fast way. That Without, I, I, I just don't know how it handles the, 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 the chains. I mean, Pluto has some memory translation, right? <coughs> or not yet implemented. I, mean, I think every time you, you request something, it will call a function which uh, check if the user is, is allowed to, to, do, to, do, to do it. And I can add something uh -huh. to this function which should work. So the main point would be to get uh, an account for this on the server. Sure. So that you can change and uh, also test the automation of the push of the PO files to Pluto. If we import, uh, you create this Czech cloud, or we could import it now. It yes, but the thing is not useful. Now this is all Pluto. Why is it still creating this? This is a lot of files. A lot of files, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 20,000 or so. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, language. Language. Yeah. Quite a performance issue. <laughs> <laughs> we kill Pluto. <laughs> so probably, probably some improvements that we had been discussing yesterday with more memory, more hard disk. Uh, on the hardware. Uh, we will also try we also try to change a couple of tricks on the file system. I can also do that to help people using Faster file system, saving some some time stamping, and, and we we can disable also some some stuff in Pluto, like some some checks, checks we we did not uh, look at the least at least to see if it goes up. Mm. If it flies, then we can start hacking. Mm. But I'd like to start the mail interface. Um, if we have um, a fast machine, a faster Putter and all the stuff, then we can translate all the files to Putter, um, activate the main interface, and then um, the translator can continue to work without uh, stop um, of, of the translation. Sure. And if I um, don't change the interface from the main server, then all then also the web interface um, that we been have um, will uh, work. Um, and then you can change all the translator to the new interface. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the other goal we had was also to explain what we also do on not sure. Okay. I come back to our schedule. Ah, okay. Well, nice. okay. So the point is, uh, Churro is not only Puto. No. Far from it. Yes. <laughs> At this moment, the most useful part uh, is not Puto. It's all the old the material. All the material. So is the knee stop it generating the files? Uh, I eat in the server start generating it. We have like probably eight or nine robots running. Each one of them does a different thing. Uh, basically, we generate, we generate the entire material uh, tarball with all the PO that it is used by the, the, the WWW or International Infrastructure. Uh, we have also some, some, some local accounts that we plan to organize now. Um, Nicola has graphs, statistics, and some mm -hmm. some some informational uh, in his in his home home account. Uh, Eddie is generating companion files. Uh, Thomas uh, has the, the 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 robots for the mailing list, the DL DL the ten uh, robots that keeps tracking of. I think Project Smith, Smith is also using the robot, right? To track reviewing, bug tracking reports and all that. Yes. 
Yes, it's Thomas. It's in the Thomas. This is Thomas robot. Yes, then it's also under tracking robot which tracks the mailing list. Yes, which is when you register for for most of the translations of some of them, not all of them, is using this robot. We still have a problem with that because some things have. We have in fact four robots in the wild. Uh, three of them have different patches. One of them is entirely rewritten in, in Python. Uh, one of them feeds a database, MySQL. One of them receives directly the message, and our bot uh, crawls the main lists. So most of the teams are using our bot, but we still have other teams that would like to have their features on our bot, and we didn't work with that. Uh, and uh, Puto is running on that server. Uh, we have a full mirror with all the trees, with all the tree suites, uh, non free, and all of that is, is, is on that area. So it makes available to generate statics from uh, any timeline, actually any testing that we didn't have past. So now we generate for both. Uh, we still have accounts. We Basically, it's a very easy server to have an account. You just need to, to contact me with a GPG uh, message and I will create the account for you. We are just moving for some security, uh, new security resources on that server. So we are allowing only SSH key login and we will uh, change a couple of things like having Apache proxy uh, for Plural, HTTPS, probably Cesar will arrange a couple of another IP address. You activate the uh, MX structure on that server so we can run mails, we can have email infrastructure, lists, uh, and other things will, will deal better with that. I figure out how to do that. Um, and, and, and there is only one wiki that we already spoken about it on the first meeting that we are closing it, moving all the information we have to the main uh, Debian wiki and this week we will remain only like this is the URL for Poodle, this is URL for this, this. So this is basically uh, what we have. Uh, most of the most of the, 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 the robots are up to date with the CVS. Uh, in fact, we don't change them in a long time. Uh, which basically gets the entire uh, the entire archive of the list, process it with all the, the pseudo URLs and register what is what, and that's 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 all the information we, we have over there. Yeah. And the and the and the the material that generates this page, mm -hmm. then our web server grabs it from. From 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 uh, I think This is one of the important parts. Yes, we are here on the main web server, so on the official Debian.org architecture. But the material that's pointed here, and this is used daily by all translators for to the conference text, is pointed. Yes, to you should point to file. Yeah. yeah, if I point this D.PO file. It's there, itnn.debian.net, uh, material, pure, stable, etc. So, in fact, Turo is already part of the Debian infrastructure. Uh, if we break Turo, if the robots break, we are breaking these pages. So, right now, we have things, we have sev several things in production at, at this moment. And I'm glad we have routine. Probably only in the, in the hands of a few people. That's the main weakness we have. Yeah. The knowledge is not very widespread. But there are several things converging. Uh, and we probably need to organize the, these things better. For instance, it would be good to point here. We have the official LTNN pages, but if we want to reach the robots, it's pretty hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know the URL, you have no chance to find it. So this is something that has to be improved, uh, probably. 
and uh, an ID would also to replace the SDI status page, which is semi-official and to point directly in Putor because Putor is able to do all this, maybe not as nicely, but uh, quite, quite well. So, now a lot of uh, small things running already on Chur, I think. Do you want to show the, the robots from Thomas or...? The output from uh, Thomas' yes. robots? Maybe, I don't know if everybody is familiar with mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have to find the URL. Maybe yes. if, you, if you go to the main page of, uh, of Chur, it's... The site is hikingn.devn.net slash dldn. Don't change. Don't change this one. This one. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. okay. Druk, I'm. What is delayed? X space. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy to understand. <laughs> so, no, it's DL, DL, then DL, then, then. Yes. Here? Debian, L10. Debian is, oh, uh, so it is Debian dash, Debian dash L10. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is mostly the crawling robot results. So if we try to go for Portuguese, Portuguese yes. stands for Brazilian? Yes, it's still. We need to we are planning we have plans to split it for lane. You can see PT by package. And uh, this is generated by uh, Churro robots. Yes. And the probing robots. This is this is hourly, the, the starts of the pace, mm -hmm. and it clo it also automatically closes the bugs once per day, mm -hmm. uh, the bugs that were done. Here we can see the information for package, file, translator, status, and, and last last seen message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's also interesting for, for the translator with if when the page is uh, sorted by a translator, one translator can can see if he did not just forget one translation somewhere and did not finish the, the review or anything. The process is many, it's very helpful. It's really really helpful for like this. Yes, yes. There are still problems, encoding problems with Android names. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I think it's because he, he used different uh, yeah. mail clients yes. which do not send uh, the same name. Yeah. So this what I translated in Portuguese. Yeah. Really? Yes, but it's, it's yeah. a BTS. Uh, it's a BTS. Yes, this, is, this is probably because I reported the bug. This package <laughs> eLilo uh, yeah. had a special treatment. So that's expected. Um, AD, AD companions are, are under is, uh, AD, ADP home directory. Okay. So mm -hmm. i18n.evan.net. Till the, the ADP. Without, without the Debian model. Without, without the Debian so Yes. Till the, the ADP. No, no. To E, D, D, Y, P. So, no. Y and P. 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 That's it. That's the name. Compendiums. Dark Pure. information, pure the results. And if anybody knows how to use companions of VI, I will be able to see. Oh my god, it's serious. The, the, the log file may be interested to, to see uh, if there are some Problem. errors. 
in some PO file. Yeah. I think if you if you go to the French one, you, yes, for example, there are two one. there are two broken files currently in the French. Uh, I see them also in the uh, Python import logs. So. It's also the component. It's also uh, interesting uh, because you can see if one string is translated in different way uh, in different PO file, you will see it here, and sure, sure you can try to to analyze the, the translation between different PO files. So the last bit. So in the compendium, the, the, the header is not really interesting because it's a concatenation of the various header. But if you if you pass the header and then if you search for sharp dash sharp dash sharp, you you may find some interesting. Charge the that, that's it. Should be okay. Okay. All the others. So you have to pass that the you can go, go through the, the others. Yeah, yeah yes. in the middle of five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You you just click, okay. click, go down there, click, click somewhere. Click here somewhere and now find next. Now find next. Swaps for this. Oh, now so here. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> this one is not interesting uh, because it's a difference between. Okay, it, it's a difference no. in the headers. It's a difference in the the, 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 the type of uh, of the comments. So let's try another one. Next one. Yeah. Oh, I. It's working. Oh, so it, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's really huge. Um, it's four mega. But it, it may be interesting for QA on translation. It's interesting for QA, I think. It's also interesting to give the companion uh, to translate the new translator. The main so that they use it in their translation too. Yeah, K, K, K translator. As K. support for it, KBL, sorry, yeah, KBL. Uh, yeah, but I never, uh, I, I suck at uh, configuring that thing, and I never succeeded in configuring KBL to use the company. So I try. AD is able to. I try. I try to find some information to use it with VM improvement, but I, I couldn't. Yeah, but you will find all this kind of stuff. Uh, so that's not really useful information. Okay. Because you are polluted by all DI uh, mm -hmm. stuff. This is something to uh, to improve in Thomas uh, scripts. They shouldn't pick the DI UDEP because the UDEP are listed twice in DI and in PO DEP. So if Thomas listens mm -hmm. this someday, maybe we can improve <laughs> get text to to avoid the. To Adding this, this stuff, yes. This kind of stuff. So, uh, well, this is the first. Eddie considers this as the experimental. So, uh, we, later it should be run by the robots and not in VR. Yeah, we, 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 should, we should start thinking of moving everything that works to a common place, not on directories. But most of the things are in common places. No, my the cool stuff. Is not. Yes. Yours is not, so yours should move. Yes. Now <laughs> no, we're just <laughs> testing if it's working. Yes, but it's it's. I I've, I've been checking it for a while. Mm. Well, we we did not not explain what is the main use of the compendium. It's to to start the translation of a, a PO file. You can message merge to it. And uh, the PO file will will be filled with uh, the translation if they already exist in the PO, uh, in the compendium, or if a string is close. Yeah. To well, okay, that's the use of a compendium. So yes. I, I expect translators to know about what is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure the name is really. Uh, 
Yeah, but our main goal is to organize what we are doing on Pluto, not exactly do a course about yep. translation, you know? So. Uh, yeah, and eventually we don't know when, probably to, took some time, it will become a software machine. But yeah. it's I, I think yeah, one of the things to do will be to move all robots to common place. Yes. There is one advantage with the .NET machine is that it's, I think, much no. easier to, to get some login on it and then... No developers, of course. Uh, as long as I know you, yes. it's, it's easy. <laughs> Maybe it's easier also for to, to make some development, to test some... Yes, but please, perhaps, I don't know, perhaps we can have two machines. We can still have IT.dev and .NET. Mm -hmm. For, for forever, mm -hmm. if as long as Extremadura <laughs> keeps it. <laughs> but and then we can have a new IDOT and not that mm -hmm. machine. At least Volatile has that. Yes. Volatile.dem and .NET machine still exists. And they give they gave us Verdi, which is a new machine. Okay. And do you think that su such things that are quite moving uh, qualify for dot org machine? I think so, mm -hmm. because then they go to a, a super infrastructure of security, uh, backups, uh, much more than we have, and, and, and they are like conserved. I do not expect Extremadura to disappear, but still, it's a dark art mm -hmm. But I don't see it happening like before then. Well, we still have what could be a target is moving uh, old things. Uh, yeah, volatile, volatile need to. to I, I want to finish. Uh, the things that are pointed by the Debian website should the Debian.org website currently are in the Debian.net, IATN.Debian.net website. That's probably not a very good idea because we make. Some official Debian resource depend on unofficial ones. So this is something we should try to move quite soon yeah, to IATN.debian.org. It would be nice also to see the material the currently. Currently the important is the materials. I think that we can do that even on www on master. Well I, I, I at least we could I, I don't like to move it for a people account. Hmm. I don't think we should do that. No. We should move it for. It was in a peop in people yes, account, so we don't have to move it back to people account. But well, I, I I can try because one of one of the things that we could do is use Elliot. It's a dark machine. But in a project, uh, the home directory, not in a user home directory. Yes, on the LDN. Yes. L10N. Project. L10N. Or I can tell. I also say L LDN. So let's go for LDN. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking in Portuguese. Yeah, no, in French. <laughs> <laughs> LDN. Uh, but I can also speak with Joey about having I89 job in the tour. He's usually the, the, the guy behind the machines. So. We, we also have uh, Wagner, which is able to give us VM machines, so it's also... Well, I can, I can open a ticket in the only request tracker and see what's necessary. I told you if it's a problem. It's okay. Um, the main thing is uh, we have a quite low ga quality guarantee, I think, on True, being broken or not broken, because this is something we. The admin team is very small, actually, for for true. Well, we are almost the same size of the SA. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I consider that the only real admin in the team is uh, Felipe. I have a, I have pseudo rights, but uh, basically I can use them for breaking anything. So. <laughs> Certainly not a good idea, and I wouldn't require it on the dot .org machine. And it would not be a good idea to give them. To me. But if you this is why we are somewhat weak, because some if something is broken, 
some place. We depend on Felipe, on uh, Cesar to fix the stuff. Yes. And we have non-critical but quite important Debian information that depends on this. And Do you need only web space? Or no, no, we, we, we can. I, I think we can move. I, I will try. I will try. Uh, probably we can have our, our, a cron job on the on the master on the website. Doing this probably. I. I mean, we will Yes, I, I think the material the, gathering. Yes, I think the material can be gathered together with the build of the site. I think we mm. can do it's that. No problem. Yeah. In the past, VPP uh, was a group. Now I have already looked at Debian org. I yeah. don't use it because I can not um, do the log files of the main um, system and some stuff. But you have um, an own group for this. Um, you can um, put more than one user for this group. Um, you have an own directory for your mails, um, for your websites, um, you can put scripts no, on it. It was not dependent on uh, on one user, on one home user? No, no, okay. s s slash org, slash dbtp, dbnorg. <laughs> your request to the SA. Uh, this is six years ago. <laughs> this, uh, I uh, request Joey, not yes, Joey, yes. Joey, 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 yeah, Joey Schultz. Sure, it's yes. Okay. I will try that. I will figure out the best way. Uh, I don't around. think it's that, a that, problem. That would be interesting to figure out the best way sure. to organize stuff and make them on more, on more official. I and of course, it. generate some documentation. The, sa the same thing. And yeah, that would enforce documentation. Mm -hmm. So explain yeah. yes. how this is done. Because we have seen when Denis resigned that we were heavily dependent on his work yeah. and it's, it would be a very bad idea to reproduce this yeah. and uh, I'm sure. sure. Mm. So Maybe it's only a problem if you need um, a touch of memory or CPU's um, power. I don't um, know the scripts. Yeah, the script is a little bit heavy on, 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 on disk actually because it needs to unpack files, yes. copy and keep doing that a lot. But not memory intensive of yes. no, there are no there are no, no operation on, on yeah on it, the basically, it basically opens the the the, 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 the packages and, and grab the PO files. Okay. And so how long does such a run usually take? Uh Last time I checked it and true, it took like. Uh, but it depends on the, the new package which appeared. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's but something like uh, five or ten minutes. Uh, yes, but uh, first it, time it just does, does it use it new packages. It's incremental. Okay. Yes. But the first time you run it, it's uh, probably it's one hour. I think it's a little bit more. It's two or four hours. Ah? I don't know. Yes, I would say that for the first run it will take like two or three hours. But I think we can create the first run on a different host and no, we, rsync we it over we there. We can, we can import the slash yeah, material. It can be, it, it's yeah. already run actually. Okay, it's completely completely yeah, so, so we don't say. need the first run on the no. machine. In your mail you should um, say how much uh, memory, how much CPUs, um, how much hardware space you need. And um, if you think um, there will day be one, uh, one hour, one minute, or something like this, okay. then they can choose the machine. Mm. If you need a local mirror, some machines don't have a mirror. Yes, you need a mirror. Yes, it should point in, in your mail. Okay. Good. So this is mostly what we do. we are doing on Shuro. Yes. Huh? A lot of stuff already. More than initially we wanted to set a put up server finally. Yeah. And currently the useful part is not the put up server. It's all the other stuff. What's your page? It's uh, on Nicole. Nicole.
No. So? No. M N E. This is a woman's name. He called. So. Nekhal N E. No, no. N E. N E. You know what it's Just N. Yes, this one. This one. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Is this all? Yeah. Certainly yes. Choose yours. Choose. Wow. So it's the statistic for every language and different kind of statistic for bullet point for any PO or PO for a POs. Uh, maybe the more interesting are the PO bullet point files. Yeah. You can see how it evolves. Well, the French one is not really interesting. Maybe you can <laughs> you can select the, the yearly one Just instead one of months. You, you can put your you can see the Czech or Galician. This is the, these are the ones that are moving you faster. Yes. Or oh, yes, also it's moving quite fast. But uh, really just a, just have a look at the the year, year. the yearly the yearly page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can see it's moving a little bit. Uh, one. If you replace uh, pure.conf-us.png by uh, main.html <laughs> Main.html Can we have some? Uh, Here you can see the the bubble uh, enemy campaign. <laughs> <laughs> the so it's it probably is. the release. No, I think that's the release. So? Yes. yes. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, if you select the, the testing distribution, you, you can see that the number of things increase after the after the release. Uh, it's probably here. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that that makes it easy to stop the most the active teams and uh, yes. well make a kind of funny contest. Uh, Sometimes I'm using uh, also unstable and unstable BTS, and I can see if uh, a lot of uh, translation are lagging in the in the BTS. BTS. So it's time to start a new campaign. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you select something like the, the monthly report, you, you can see when uh, when Clyde came back. <laughs> no, it's still oh, main. It's main. It's main. Ah, it's main. Yeah, okay. Month or monthly? Months. If you go down for good numbers. Uh, yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. So, on week 23. Back. <laughs> She's back. She's back. <laughs> and it's it's also interesting to if you have the, the number of uh, translated string, the number of fuzzy string, the number of untranslated string in the existing PO file, and the number of uh, untranslated string because there, there are no PO file. So language can focus on yeah removing reduce, all the the, reduce the blues or, and the and the reds and then reduce the uh, yellows would be can be a good target for team or not depends on the team's concerns and you can do some contests yeah. <laughs> Because, very nice. This is because you want to see uh, another language than F on the top. Interesting thing is this nice languages, no? They works in the last year. And this are five thousand. 
they make in like four or five thousand translations. Yeah. You are pretty lazy for French. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think this is no problem. Also German, if you see this um, and this. Yeah, the ratio is, uh, is lower, but I think that obvious that the something the so everybody is, is waiting for something to yes. happen. Well, in fact, somebody lost the motivation when you have all the yes. come and go, come and go, come and go. Mm. Yes, you uh, see the come and go. There's one come. And yes, people and start. This is was the second one. People still is not like one hundred percent sure that this time is, is yes. we go. Yes. yes. <laughs> Why did it decrease that much? Because it's the time that everything stopped. Yeah, this was stop is, uh, this is also break in, mm -hmm. and then there was a restart, and there was a mail problem, and um, I really write the stuff. And this was the last okay. that time. This was one year, um, and I rewrote it, and um, all the input uh, includes the uh, import. So import import the used um, translation, yeah, which is. Which is the keep growing green line? That's the green is the uh, um, um, packages, uh, the um, count of um, trans uh, not translation, ah. the count of um, descriptions that are in SIT that are used um, in the database. And this one is the count of um, description in the database without the outdated. Uh, with the outdated. This is without the outdated. And set, and this is translation. Yeah, we'll see the DTP. I think we can mostly close the session.